Hi viewers, welcome to the Nisk YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create this type of columns in Tecla Structures 2025 version with PDF example. If you need this PDF example for practice, please join my channel. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures 2025 version. Let's take Environment India and Detailing, Steel Detailing Role and Configuration. This is the Educational version. Then click on OK. If you don't have this software, I have explained how to download and install this Tecla Structures 2025 version in my previous tutorial. Please check out. Click on here new and let's take the name Tecla 2025 tutorial place in and single user. Let's take this single user and template as a blank and click on create a new project. Once you get this pop up, then click on S. This is the by default grid and this is the uh, Tecla structure environment. Now we're going to open our example. Double click on this PDF example and click on here to minimize it. Now we're going to create this column with ISMB 300 profile. This is the Indian standard uh, profile ISMB 300 and we have column height is the 6000 and bottom level should be zero uh, for this example. And we have section here you can see this is the I section. Currently, uh, this seems to be H like this. Now I'm going to create this column in Tecla. So click on here still and set this column and zoom it. We're going to place at this grid intersection point. Click on here to place this column. If you don't know how to create grids, I have explained how to create grids and how to create views in my previous tutorial. Please check out there. Now, now I'm going to open this column. So double click on this column to open column property window. Now we need to turn off this direct modification option. We can see, turn it off. Now we're going to, in our example, we have ISMB 300. By default, we have ISMB 400. We're going to change this profile. So click on here and let's take ISMB 300. Click on apply. Okay. Now zoom it here by using scroll middle button, scroll it to zoom in. And now we're going to modify this to, you can see the changes here. You can see now this column profile should be ISMB 300. Now coming to here, you can see this is the transparent view. Now we're going to get render view. So use the shortcut control four to get render view like this. If you don't know the shortcuts, you can directly click on here view and click on here render. And you can see, you can change from here. This is the wireframe view. And this is the shaded view. And this is the gray view. And this is the render view. Okay, use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. You can rotate about this point like this. Okay, by default, we have column like this. Now we're going to change this column height. By default, we have 5000 and bottom level is the minus 500. So we're going to change this value. In our example, we have 6,000. So enter here 6,000 and bottom level should be zero. There is no changes here. If you enter here minus 500, the column will be go down from ground to below 500. So in our example, we have bottom level zero and top level 6,000. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have column height 6,000 and like this. Now we're going to rotate this column 90 degrees because the column is the edge profile like that. So click on here and directly enter here 90 degrees, then click on modify to see the result. You can see like this. To go to top view, use, use the shortcut control P and you can see you have column like this. And again, enter top control P to get 3D view like this. Okay, in our next example, we have pipe profile, pipe 300 by 8 thickness. 300 is the outer dia and the thickness is the 8 thickness of this pipe. I'm going to create a pipe profile here. So click on steel and select this column and click on here to place previous profile. Now we're going to change this column. So double click on it and we require pipe profile. So click on here and these are the default standard profiles. Uh, you can load these profiles also, pipe column. 
and click on more to see the result you can see now we have pipe profile but by default we have pipe 200 by 10 thickness but in our example we have pipe 300 by 8 thickness so click on here and we need to enter here 300 and thickness is the 8 millimeter and click on apply ok and click on modify to see the result you can see now we're going to change this column height in our example we have column height 5000 so by default we have 5000 but we need to change the bottom level zero now click on modify like this to differentiate the profiles so i'm going to change the color of this column so let's take column um, class 2 click on modify you can see this is the pipe profile and this is the column profile like this and close this column property window to open column property window double click on this uh, column to open this column property window or you can also use the shortcut select this column and use the shortcut alt enter to open column property window like this you can see like this use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point you can rotate about this point like this this is the pipe profile and this is the column profile okay that's it about how to create columns in tecla structures with this pdf example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below uh, for this pdf example please go to my channel Veni sk youtube channel click on in search bar and you will get this channel and click on here and click on join and click on join here use any one of these option to purchase this membership and click on buy and purchase this membership and take a screenshot and send to my email address i will provide my email address in the description and on this screen also and take a screenshot and send to my email address and you will get latest tutorial pdf examples to directly to your mail